Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video. As you can tell by today's title and thumbnail, I'm going to be sharing um, everything that I need to do before the baby gets here. So you can call this like a third trimester um, to-do list or a nesting to-do list. Um, I'm just going to be sharing everything that I need to get done around the house in order um, to be prepared for the baby. This is my third child, so third boy actually. And um, I kind of know what's necessary and what's not really necessary, what I want versus don't want. I'm kind of a minimalistic mom, so like, I know that I don't need a whole lot, but there are a lot of things that babies do need or that I do need after postpartum or want or just things that I wanna get done. I don't know, I'm in the nesting mode. I am currently 29 weeks in like three days or something. So I'm in the third trimester and I'm just ready to get things going, get this baby out and be ready. So yeah, that's gonna be today's video. If you like videos like this, make sure you give this video a like, um, subscribe, comment. <sighs> okay, yeah. so stick around. I have a few to-do lists. I wrote it all down on my iPad but i have a few to-do lists and like lists of things that i need to get i kind of just broke it down into a couple of different lists so i have a list of what i need to get rid of what i need to get cleaning to do um what the baby needs before he's born clothes for the baby and like some baby essentials so i'm gonna share what's on my lists but um i'm gonna try and make this video not like a 20 minute video so Excuse me though, I'm getting tired because I'm pregnant and so I might lose my breath. I'm kind of sweaty. I think I might actually turn the fan back on because I'm already getting hot. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, so I want to start off with things that I want to get rid of and replace, but they're not necessarily essential. So if the baby came like in two weeks and we don't have this done it's not really that big a deal but like it doesn't pertain to the baby it's just some things that i want to get done so i want to get rid of my table um i actually already did that and i did it prematurely because i didn't buy a new table to replace it but i wanted to get rid of it and get a smaller table the table that i have or had was this really big what was it two four six person table that can actually get bigger but we never expanded it we just kept it at its original like six person table and then it came with like nine chairs and i live in like this two bedroom apartment i just it's not necessary we don't need it that big we could save the space and get a smaller table to be honest we all only ate at it maybe like three times so yeah we're gonna um eventually hopefully soon get a new table um preferably just like a little four seater or maybe even just like a little bar table just for the boys i have a four and a two year old and they still eat at the table so we do need a table so that it opens the space in like my dining room area yeah i just kind of want to redo my dining room area a little bit and then couches these couches are really old i kind of want to get rid of them or even just get rid of the love seat because we have a love seat and then we have this like three-seater couch and we have um an ottoman and then i put the chair that came with it in the boys room just so they can have something to sit on or we can have something to sit on when we're in their room that's not their bed and um so yeah i'm thinking about getting rid of either all of them or just getting rid of the love seat and maybe possibly putting um a rocking chair out here but i'm not sure so that's another thing I need to actually just figure out what I want to do about the couches. Um, I want to get all of us new beds. So currently we have a king size bed. I would like to downsize to a queen size bed. We also, um, Malcolm, when he was playing with the boys, he jumped on our bed frame and broke it. So we're actually on the floor right now and we need to just buy a new bed. Um, so I'm gonna buy us a queen size mattress and um, a queen size bed frame. 
uh, that will make the room open up a little bit more. I also have, I just have a lot of stuff in my room and I need to downsize some things, get rid of some things, just so that I can make room for the baby. Um, so yeah, we need new beds. And then I want to get the boys a bunk bed, a new bunk bed, but again, that's just, if I get to it, I did order our bed frame. So that should be here in a couple days. And then I'm gonna order the mattress probably today or tomorrow. So soon I'm gonna order the mattress. Um, so that's already in the works. And then I wanna go through the boys clothes and get rid of or donate the clothes that they can't fit are kind of too dirty or dingy. Um, their shoes, you know, just get rid of their clothes that we're not gonna be using anymore. Um, they have a couple of things that I would reuse for the baby, but yeah, that's why I have to go through them. Um, and then also our clothes, I need to go through our clothes. I did recently go through them, maybe like six months ago, but I think our wardrobe is due for another review. <laughs> um, so I wanna go through everybody's clothes. Other things that I want to get, but aren't necessarily a necessity are, um, an AC unit or oh our air purifiers so I just bought one I plan on buying three I want one for like outside in the living room dining room kitchen area and then I want one in each of our rooms our room and the boys room so I've got one out of three of those um, right now the air purifier we have I love so I'm thinking of just buying two more of those Oh, new bathroom rug, towels, and curtain. Basically, I want to redo my bathroom just because um, the curtain, you know, you're supposed to replace your curtain every while. Like, I don't know, when it, once it gets stingy. So, I just want to replace the curtain. Um, I want to, I already replaced the rug. So, I'm going to have to just go with what color I went with the rug. It's not that hard. It's just gray. So, it should be fine. Um, and then towels 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 in this house towels just go by so quick i don't know why but it's like i'll wash the towels one day and by the next day they're all gone so i definitely want to get more towels so that i don't have to deal with that once the baby's born it kind of minimizes laundry that needs to be done which is work on me so but then again it just creates more laundry i don't know i just want more towels i don't want to have to worry about towels of all things when he's born um, and then I want to get some fall clothes and shoes for the boys, for Adonis and Mendeecees, um, because in the fall, Adonis is going to be starting school. He's going to be starting kindergarten. Um, so I just want to make sure he has some nice clothes for that. And just, you know, just for the fall season, they need new clothes. Um, so yeah. And then I want to get the curtains for the windows. I actually already bought all the curtains. We're just working on cleaning the window sills and putting the curtains up. Um, we plan on taking the blinds down and just having the curtains because the blinds are kind of hard to clean and I'm just tired of them. So we got some blackout curtains, which I mean, it kind of sucks because it's not going to be as light in here. It's just going to be darker. But at the same time, I think it'll be okay because we could just open the curtains if we need light um, or turn on a light. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I bought curtains for the dining room area, the boys' room. Um, I bought some new ones for the living room area because the ones that we have up are just really ugly and horrifying. You've probably seen them in videos. They're just horrible. Uh, they're not even, I mean, none of them are on a rod, but like they're not even, they're just ugly and it's black and I don't want black. So I got brown ones for out here. I got red ones for their room. Um, and I'm thinking about doing some for our room, but I don't know, I didn't buy any, so I'd have to go and get more. So yeah, I already got the curtains. Um, I also need to get a dresser for the baby. We all have our dressers, but I just need one for the baby. So that's very important. I want to start washing the clothes and everything probably at like 35 weeks. And yeah, so 
probably gonna dress her in the next few weeks for the baby's clothes plus i'm tired of seeing them in like garbage bags and everything and like in a corner in my room so yeah and then i have a list for some cleaning that i want to do or need to do so i need to clean the window seals I already mentioned because of the curtains and we live in an old apartment so the moisture from outside oftentimes comes inside and the window seals get pretty dirty so we have to make sure that we clean those every like month or so just to make sure it's clean so i just want to make sure that it's freshly cleaned before the baby gets here so i'll probably do that a couple times before the baby gets here but um yeah i just put that on the list because i want it to be done um, I also want to do uh, clean my carpets, so I want to get a carpet cleaner and actually go ahead and clean all of the carpets throughout this entire apartment. We've been here for like two years and the only carpet cleaning we did was when we moved in, so it's due for a carpet clean and we need to just get it done, so that's on my list. Um, I want to, of course, clean the bathroom, I want to deep clean the bathroom. Um, I'll probably do this a couple of times before the baby gets here too, but we have a window in our bathroom, so like I said, it's an old apartment. Moisture comes in and makes the window kind of dirty, um, so I need to clean that. Uh, I need to deep clean our bathtub or just, you know, clean it again, I don't know. And then I just, I just want to make sure the bathroom is nice and clean. Um, I want to deep clean the boys room as well so obviously we're doing the um, new curtains the carpet cleaning and the window seals or whatever so I also wanted to make sure that we go through their toys and we get rid of the toys that they don't play with or that are broken or have missing pieces etc I want to clean the toys that we're keeping I want to possibly get them new sheets and everything like that. Um, I just want to deep clean their room, wipe off the door handles and the, um, the closet doors, everything like that. Um, and then the same with my room, I just want to deep clean it. I want to clean my little office space that I have and minimalize it or move it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Depends on how the living room is going to look because I might just bring it out here and have my office space in the living room instead of in the room. The only problem with that is I don't like when people come over and like they see all my stuff. So that's why it's in the room. So we'll see. But yes, so I need to figure that out. I need to clean out my closet. I need to clean um, like the baseboards. There's just little things that should just be recleaned or just touched up on um i want to clean the kitchen i want to clean out the cabinets the drawers um i want to take out the silverware thing and clean that out um i want to freshly mop i just want to make sure the clean the kitchen is nice and spotless i want to reorganize all of like the pots and pans and where they're at i just want the kitchen to be spotless so that the last thing that I need to worry about is like dealing with little dirt and crevices. I want to bring a baby to like a new kind of environment, you know? So what do I need to do before the baby gets here? A lot. I haven't really done much. I haven't got much for the baby. Um, I kind of just been cruising along this pregnancy, just taking it day by day. Um, I went shopping for the baby maybe twice and then like some online shopping but nothing crazy so he doesn't have a whole bunch of things um but we'll get into like the baby essentials and clothes that i need in a moment it looks like this video is going to be pretty long so great <laughs> editing me is going to hate filming me but um so i need to set up my bedside nursery i do have my bed on the way it should be here like tomorrow or friday in the next couple of days um, and I want to have a bedside nursery. Like I said, this is a two bedroom apartment. The two boys already share a room and then it's me and my boyfriend's room. So we're going to have a bedside nursery. Plus he's going to sleep with me anyways for the first probably year. So it was inevitable for me to have a bedside nursery. 
Um, I also want to create like a diaper caddy so that I can bring around um, from the living room to the room to the kitchen to, you know, just anywhere that I'm going to be chilling with the baby. Um, just so that all this stuff is in one place or even in the middle of the night, it'll help me out. So everything is in one place. I don't have to be searching for things. Yeah. So I want to build a diaper caddy. I need to pack my hospital bag and get a hospital bag. <laughs> Um, I need to pack the hospital bag for me and my boyfriend. I need to install our car seat in the car. I want to clean and organize the baby's clothes, of course. That's everything on like my little baby to-do list. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a lot, so comment down below any things that I could be missing because I'm pretty sure that I missed a lot. I, keep, I think of things every day and I don't write them down, so yeah um now i want to go through clothes that i feel like i need for like the first six months of the baby's life so these are things like the basic clothes and i also put the sizes and the amounts of each size that i feel like i would need so yeah so for onesies for short sleeve onesies um i feel like for newborn sizes i only need like three or four onesies so like one pack of onesies for a newborn size should be good adonis and mendeces were pretty small babies so i expect this baby to be small and fit in newborn for maybe the first two weeks and then be out in zero to three but at the same time newborn sizes i feel like aren't too far off of zero to three so it's not um if i just have zero to three it would be fine with me. I would just have to roll up the sleeves. Like, I'm okay with that. Um, so I want like three to four short sleeve onesies in zero to three. I want four or five in zero, or in newborn. That was newborn. I want four to five in zero to three, just because I feel like zero to three, they last like a little bit longer. Like um, they're in that size a little bit longer. Uh, three to six, they're also in that size a little bit longer. I want uh, five to six of those and then I wrote six to nine but I'm not it the six to nine isn't that big of a deal to me six to nine I just said like two or three onesies yeah and then footy pajamas I want or I need to get two to three of those in newborn I need four or five in like zero to three months three to four in in three to six months Footy pajamas are very important to me. Those are like those are like gold to me um, because just, they're footy pajamas, so you don't really have to put socks on them, um, especially the ones that zip from the bottom up. So I'm trying to not get any like button up pajamas and just all zip zip up pajamas. But yeah, pants. I do like putting like little ba little pants on babies. I just feel like it's really cute with like a onesie um yeah so i want um a newborn size i want one to two one to two pairs and zero to three month size i want three to four pairs three to six month size three to four pairs and then night gowns i really only need newborn and zero to three and i really only need like one or two of each because night gowns aren't that big of a deal but they are nice to have um i never even seen babies still wear night gowns um but they are really great for like the middle of the night. Like, they're great. And they're not just for girls. There's boy nightgowns. I'm getting my son some nightgowns because like, you need them. Like, I don't know why that's not in everybody's list, but it should be. And then for long sleeve onesies, um, I want one to two newborn onesies. He's gonna be born in September. So it's gonna be kind of cold, but it's like, it's, it's fall, so. Um, zero to three months, I want three to four of those. Three to six months, I want three to four of those as well. And then like outfits, so like actual outfits aren't really a big deal to me in the first six months because they're not really gonna wear them. Like they just, they sleep all the time. So like you don't need like real outfits like jeans and stuff. So I just put them in here just because it's nice to have for like anytime you are going out but we're not gonna go out that much so yeah 
So for outfits, um, newborn size, I just want one or two. Really just like a going home outfit and then like maybe another one to take pictures in. It's not that big a deal. And then uh, zero to three months, I want three to four outfits. Um, that's probably even a lot. Probably like two or three would be better. And three to six, I want about three to four. That's when like you can actually kind of start to get them dressed a little bit. Um, and same with six to nine, two to three outfits. It's just also by the time he's born, I'm still gonna be buying things. So I don't need that much before he's born. Um, and then other things I need, I wanted to get like 10 or more pairs of socks, at least. Socks are very important. I want three to four pairs of mittens. Definitely need mittens because they're gonna be scratching their face. Um, and I want like four or five hats just to start off with. I know I'm gonna need more, but I just wanna make sure I have some hats. Um, so those are all of the clothes that I need in the first six months. Again, this is like estimating, or these are like estimations because, you know, like I just wanna make sure I have like at least this amount of things. But I also didn't go through my clothes, so um, I haven't marked anything off of this list yet, so I need to go through the clothes and actually mark off what I do have. Okay, so baby essentials to get besides clothes. So I separated it into sections as well. This is the last list I have. Um, but yes, so for bath, I need to get towels. I need about two or three of those. I actually have some towels, so I can mark that off. Washcloths, I want eight to 10. I have a couple. Um, I probably just need to get like another pack of washcloths. I need to get soap or shampoo, or soap and shampoo for the baby. Um, I need to get a brush or comb for like cradle cap and combing his hair. Um, I bought my bath already, but that's on my list. And then lotion, baby lotion. For sleep, I want to get um, like two or three swaddles just to start off with, see what he likes. I don't want to shop too much for swaddles because what if he doesn't even like being swaddled, then it's just a waste. Um, I want to get four to five blankets to start off with because he is born in September, or he is going to be born in September. So I'm going to need a lot of blankets, but I want to make sure I have at least four or five. I think I really only have like one blanket right now, so I'm really like slacky. Hopefully some people get um, them some, get him some blankets, cause yeah. Um, his bed, I already bought a bed. I just got pack and play, kind of newborn to like toddler kind of thing. So he might sleep in it, he might just lounge in it. He's probably gonna sleep in the bed with me to be honest, but it's just on the list because, just in case. Um, and then a lounger so that I can like bring him places Kind of like the docket top one i don't know which one i'm gonna get but um yeah i do want to get him a lounger so i can take him and put him on the couch not worry about him falling things like that <clears throat> and then for play my boyfriend's mom got him a swing already so we just have to go and get that um i picked it out and she just bought it um so um yeah we have a swing but that's on my list maybe a bouncer because who knows, he might like to be bounced versus sw swung. I don't know. But yeah, um, so maybe a bouncer, but that's not important. A play mat, that I can also buy after he's born and that's okay, but he needs a mat just for, for like tummy time and stuff. And then some toys, of course, and some like teething toys. Um, feeding, I need to buy bottles. <laughs> um, I don't like buying bottles because with my first son, okay, so my first son, I really wanted to breastfeed, but blah, 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 it didn't work out. Um, I breastfed him for like a month maybe, and that was it, it just didn't work out. It, it wasn't working, I wasn't producing enough milk, he wasn't latching on correctly, he also had a lip tie, whatever, so it wasn't working. Um, so we went to bottles and formula, he did pretty well with formula, um, never had any issues, but he also took like every single bottle. I don't think he even had a bottle preference. I think he just wanted to eat all the time. So yeah, my second son, um, I really wanted to try the breastfeeding again. So I did and it actually went kind of well, actually. So fortunately it went well, but unfortunately it went so well that he just 
never took a bottle like i couldn't ever leave him anywhere because he just never took a bottle but um eventually after like a year um i got him to take a bottle and the only bottle that he really took was the komotomo bottle so i'll probably get some more of those just to start off with but i don't know what kind of bottles to get um so i'm thinking of just buying some komotomo bottles to start off with like just the newborn set or whatever and um seeing how that goes if that doesn't go well then i'll try a different bottle but i really plan on breastfeeding again this time so we'll just see I'd, i'm just gonna go with the flow of the baby see how he likes it um breast pumps or a breast pump so i do have my old breast pump because i stopped breastfeeding mendices maybe like a year and a half ago well he's about to be three so like two years ago he stopped breastfeeding so i do still have my breast pump i just couldn't see myself throwing away throwing it away like it i don't know even though he never took the bottles i could not see myself throwing that breast pump away and it's a really good one so i also ordered a new one through my another one through my insurance so i'll have two but um say he gets here before because my insurance isn't going to send it out until close to my due date but god forbid he comes before my due or before then i have one and then burp cloths or if that one doesn't work out i have one that i know how to work um but burp cloths i want to get like five to six of those at least i know i'm going to need more but just to make sure i have them yeah um nipple cream obviously nursing bras i want like two or three of those um to start off with i want to get the haka i didn't have that with mendices oregonis and i noticed that you do waste a lot of milk after when you're breastfeeding on one side the other side does like leak and you lose a lot of milk so it'd be nice to save that maybe increase my breast milk supply um a nursing pillow i always use the boppy i might get the boppy again i might get i think it's called um breast friend where it straps around i don't know but i need i need a, a nursing pillow and then i want to get i need to get some more bibs um i would like to have about five to six but it's not that deep i do have some but yeah and then the health portion um i want to get or i need to get tylenol aquaphor gripe water um like the little booger syringe where you can take it out and then a thermometer, I want to get the forehead one and not just the the um, digital like one that you put in the armpit or like in your mouth. And then other things I need are, I need a stroller. Again, it's not completely necessary, but it would be nice to have one. Pacifier or pacifiers, I think they give you one at the hospital, but just in case they don't. And in case he likes it or something, I want to get him some pacifiers. I like to use the little Advent ones that they give you at the hospital. I need to get, or I want to get a baby carrier. Not a necessity, but obviously so I can carry the baby around the house. And if I go on errands or whatever. And I need to get a diaper bag. I have some ideas of the ones that I want. Um, but yeah, I need that. And then I need diapers and wipes. And yeah. That is all on my list. I do know there are some things, like I said, that are not on here. Like I want a postpartum like mom kit. So like things for me, like the whole witch hazel, uh, maybe some uh, adult diapers, things like that, underwear um, for post delivery. But again, those aren't necessities and I need to just add them to my list because I think of things and then I don't add them to the list and I forget. So yeah, if there's anything else, um, comment them down below, but this is already a 33 minute video I see so We're gonna end it here <laughs> um, If you like this video make sure you give my video a like subscribe down below to stay updated and Comment some things that maybe you put on your list um, That I don't have or I put on my list that you don't have and Yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video um, I am going to be planning or doing my I'm going to be filming my whole nesting journey. So this is just part one. Um, yeah. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.